Who? Test, test. Who? Who? Test, test. Hello. Hello. Okay, okay, at least sounds nice. At least sounds nice. Hello. <sighs> okay, okay, at least sounds nice. At least sounds nice. Hello. <sighs> Okay, I think I'm gonna start now. Okay, so I won't be talking really much right now. And let me take my phone. How's it going? Okay, let me. Uh, okay, so what we need to do at least that that's all the code that I have right now. It's kind of kind of messy. Not gonna lie. In fact, I think I'm going to I'm going to uh, to rethink some some stuff about it. I don't I don't really I don't really know, but we can we can try something I guess uh, so uh, what I need to do right now is basically um, I wanted to modify it so that the sequencer and the uh I don't know I I think I'm going to write a class that basically has everything inside like a synth a synth class that I can access to do stuff but I don't think it's really I I don't know I don't really know what 
to do right now uh, but I guess we are going to do it <laughs> so I have a filter and and a sequencer and if I play the sound it's just like that it's kinda meh it's kinda I'm not gonna lie it's kinda not really good as of now let me open the reference uh, stop it uh huh 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 okay okay huh <laughs> okay the web audio api is right here <laughs> and so i I guess I I can make another like uh, synth like a lead synth I don't know let me let me see let me see I can uh, I can like add delay maybe I don't know hello Andre how's it going uh, let me let me see let me see what, what? What I need to do, what I need to do, uh, uh, mm. okay, so I, as I said, I wanted to rewrite the, the thing here to, huh. I don't know because it's really I don't really know what to do uh, <laughs> I'm fine doing fine it's pretty hot here Wow so I guess we are going to 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 interval what the frick is that okay it's the the thing here so I guess we can uh, console log go away I guess we're going to uh, <laughs> we're going to make another like a delay thingy I don't know let me okay I guess we are doing let let synth I don't know equals audio context dot create oscillator create oscillator oh yeah yeah, yeah. here's a here's thing that I wanted to make like a LFO uh, and uh, like it gets like a rate thingy I don't know this dot rate equals rate I don't know uh, because I wanted to modulate the the <coughs> uh, the, 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 the the thing here what's it called the the the, the, the envelope I wanted to modulate it so how do I modulate it? Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I I don't really know actually. I wanted to create like a framework that allows me to make a track just like if it was in a doll. But uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of new to me everything here. So yeah. I would I want to create both the instruments and the track but was what I was uh, what I was uh, thinking is that uh, drums will be a problem because I don't know I guess I will like get some samples maybe I don't know. Okay, envelope. Uh, full. Okay, and let's do like connect, just like the envelope. Connect. I'm. I'm not gonna like explain stuff because <laughs> I'm not really. <laughs> not really good at this so I just going to do something and and I guess I want to like check maybe I don't know index hmm and then I can say like this okay um rate and uh, min uh, min val and max val I want the I want to make like a uh, and oh wait wait I don't need to do that actually I can do like this dot LFO equals create uh, audio audio context uh, dot create oscillator and uh, I can uh, uh, maybe frequency frequency here I don't know uh, this dot rate I don't need it anymore and then I can say LFO dot frequency dot value equals frequency and then hmm. Mm. Well, actually, I can just say depth, depth here, and like this dot depth equals depth, and then update. I can say update here, and I don't need this actually update param maybe I don't know this dot param dot value equals wait a minute huh. mm -hmm. this dot param I can say like this dot LFO dot can say like amplitude uh, full dot hmm hmm let me check the API um, 
oscillator node here it is properties um, Hmm. Well, let me try. Uh, let me try doing uh, this. This dot LFO. Maybe I don't know if, if that's correct. Actually. Hmm. And then I can say like um, instead of um, uh -huh, instead of doing this, I can uh, actually I can do. Uh, okay, let me let me comment this. Uh, pa, 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 let let base LFO LFO equals new LFO frequency like zero point one hertz and depth. I don't know, I'm not using it, so I just say one. Hmm. And then I can say, uh, I can say, uh, B, I can say base dot filter. Wait a minute. Uh huh. Le um pa 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 well, what am I what am I changing here? I'm changing the base filter dot frequency. I can say LFO here instead of that. and then I can say here base filter LFO dot update param let's see how many her errors I get hmm it doesn't okay doesn't sound like doesn't sound like it it was working so hmm. so I guess I did something okay yes, dot, param, dot value maybe I don't think so No, what am I doing? I need to refresh. Am I, I did I did I save? Control S. Yes, I saved. Okay. Set value property on oh, the red float value is not finite. Thank you. I did something wrong. Um hmm. Hmm. What Hmm. Let me Google uh, okay, amplitude of oscillator node web audio API. Uh, web audio API. 
ILFO. Okay. Um okay, I need to I think I figured it out maybe. Mm. Maybe I need to check a little bit more. Okay, gain node oscillator, sign is connect to the gain, and the gain connects to uh, to saw dot frequency. <sighs> so I guess, I guess I need to do this dot param dot connect LFO dot this dot LFO dot frequency and then I just don't need this maybe I don't know cannot read property connect of undefined nice Okay. What is undefined? This dot param. Okay. This dot param equals param. And now it should be defined. Control S. No. It's not a function. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess I need to. I need to to do to do to do this. Uh, here, this control S F5. No control S. I'm not sure of what I'm doing. Yeah, it's not working. Maybe I'm not understanding what I'm doing actually. Hmm. Maybe three years, maybe. Execute connect on other input exceeds number of inputs. Okay, I don't think I don't think I can do that. Let me check a thing base filter. Let me, uh, let me check. 
check. Uh, audio farm. Does it have like a connect thing? Maybe. I guess. What am I doing? Best base filter dot frequency maybe I don't know. Let me close this. Well if connect is not a function, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, pretty interesting. Base filter dot frequency dot automation rate. Wait a minute. What is this? Automation rate. Yeah, I mm, I guess it, there wasn't a need for. Okay, let me let me see nothing audio param let me see audio param what the fuck is this <sighs> where's hmm automation where's the automation Set value curve time. <laughs> hmm. Duration every value in the array must be a finite number. So our time a double representing the time of the hour was first created the change in value will happen. Value is lower than it is counted current time. I double that to total time and single over with da 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 No Okay Okay, um, uh, hmm, I guess that's more difficult than what I think, what I thought, hmm, uh, ba 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 ba, huh, oh wait, Okay, big hood filter node properties. Um, I'm, I'm checking the A rate. What the freak is that? Takes a current on a value of each sample frame. Mm. Okay, pa pa pa. No. Hmm. Yep, that's that sucks. <sighs> okay, let's see. Automation rate. Audio power and automation rate. Oh, the perm dot automation rate. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I guess I need to define. Okay. <sighs> hmm. That sucks. I mean, yep. Okay, <laughs> let me see. Okay, let me control Let me let me go back. Uh, LFO, Okay. Hmm. I guess I can say this dot values it's an array oh. hmm this dot frequency so say like type maybe I guess oh god god yeah. okay let me try something here so I can Let's make it Well actually what I can do that would be much much more simple is actually in here uh, millisecond per PPQT Hmm. Two pi t. I guess I can do here. <sighs> Base filter dot frequency dot set value at time value. Let me say like let value uh, equals um, math dot sign two times math dot pi times index times millisecond per ppqt. I guess then I can say like well um what the fuck am I doing? This is not the frequency it's the time what am I doing? Uh Um Yeah, that's not that's not the right approach. Let's say let angle a equals to uh Okay, I need to say like if I want a like a an LFO that has like a set frequency I need to know 
like every step that I that I take because as of now I'm basically dividing the time in steps and every steps has uh, every step has the du as, uh, this duration in millisecond and what I can do it's basically map the like the step to an angle and then calculate the sine if I want like a sine LFO and what I can do with uh, with that value is like setting the value for the filter to that let's try I guess Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I know that uh, uh, I know that uh, every step step equals ms per bpqt that stands for pulls per quarter note and uh, right now I have like the standard 24 uh, pulses per quarter note I'm, I'm basically using MIDI stuff or MIDI related stuff I guess I don't, I don't know if, it, if it's like only used by MIDI I don't know and I need to calculate the angle so let me try and figure out what what I want to do so What can I say is that, like, if I want, like, a 30 hertz LFO, uh, every period, like, every time the LFO returns, like, to the initial value, it's like, I need to know first of all the period so it's like a let frequency equals like 30 hertz let period equals 1 over frequency because period and uh, the period of a wave is like the inverse of its uh, frequency so now that I know how much the uh, the the waveform takes in time? I can now divide. Uh, let uh, millisecond per step. Uh, um, well, actually, I know. No, no, no let angle is equal to like uh what um, two times math dot pi because i want a full 360 i can do like period divided by the full angle so this is the ratio between the the period and the angle so that i can multiply it by the index that's the step that i'm currently at times millisecond per ppqt that's the duration of every step and um, well actually no I did it wrong here I should divide the ang the uh, full 360 by the period th so that when I multiply it by a unit of, of time if I do angle over time times time 
is angle so uh, yeah a quick way to check your equations and shit like that and now I can say angle <sighs> and then I need to map the angle from a max value and a min value Ooh, that's not good that's not really I can see plus one since uh, sine goes from minus one and plus one and since I'm gonna change the frequency I cannot ha I cannot have negative frequencies so I will just do divide it by two then so that I have the sine that goes from one and zero now that I have this I can multiply it by a max value like I want the frequency of the filter to go from like 1000 um, but what I can say is actually multiply it by like uh, subtract from the maximum value like the minimum value I don't know if I'm doing it right but that makes sense like I want 200 to be the minimum value and then after the multiplication I will have a value that goes from 0 to 800 here and if I add up back the 200 here I will have a value that goes from 200 to 1000 I, g I think I guess yeah I don't know I guess that's that's and audio context dot current time I guess let me see if it works I guess it should work why shouldn't it work yeah base filter LFO is not defined yeah no wonder I deleted the whole class oh no 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 what did I do here I guess I can say that control s I Yeah, that doesn't sound like it's working. No, that doesn't sound like it's working. <sighs> so, let me console.log value let me see if if it's doing what I'm thinking it's doing and also let me like 0 0.1 Hertz so that <laughs> yeah, I, I think I did something wrong definitely <laughs> The, that should be like the opposite yeah that should be the opposite so I guess I did something wrong uh, okay the period it they did didn't let me see angle console.log angle I don't really know 
because I'm I'm not really understanding. Oh, wait, let me let me let me let me reduce the BPM to to like 60 so that I can debug it like. Okay, angle is going crazy, and it shouldn't really matter for it to be like uh, the angle, like going over it to pi because sine is a periodic uh periodic uh function that go that uh, it's it's um I, I don't know the the english name but the the interval between uh, the interval in which it's defined like the the, the period it goes from zero to two pi, and the the, the math dot sine uh, function is actually dealing with the angle being over two pi by just say just doing the modulo like the remain. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. But also, yeah, the angle, the angle is not doing really. Wait, the angle shouldn't go like that crazy. Actually, what, what did I do wrong? Wait a minute. Um, let let me check a thing here. Mm. The best for PPKT. Like imagine we are like a ten, a tenth, two times math. Dot pi. Divided by the uh, the reciprocal of zero point one is one over zero point one. I guess I can do that. Hmm. And then if I ms times zero it should be zero okay ms per ppqt times two times three times four times five times one what hmm wait a minute did i forget like some parentheses no why is it 26 it should be like it should be like I don't know 1 over 0 0.1 should be uh, blah 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 should be 10 yeah of course huh well let's imagine that ms per ppqt is 1 
so two, three, four, five, six. What can I do actually is divide the period by millisecond per I I guess I can do that MS per PPQT the one two three four and then if I do 42 wait let me do ms per ppqt because a 42 should should yield me 6.2 weight but it's wrong why is it wrong because that's the frequency hmm but that's wait a minute one two three four no that that's that's wrong that's really wrong let me take a piece of paper and let me try to to figure that out so I have the period here T and T is equal 1 over F and we all agree that's correct now I need to divide the period no, wait the period should be if I divide the period by the millisecond per pulse per quarter note I should get I should get how many pulses no I should um wow that that's that's hmm ah, that that's really difficult actually right so I have the period but I don't but I don't have the full duration of the period in steps what what's happening okay uh -huh. okay so the period the period is in seconds not in milliseconds. Yep. I need to multiply it by 1000 actually. The period is in not in milliseconds. The period should be in milliseconds. So how many milliseconds are in one second? One thousand. So if I multiply it, the period that should be that should be it actually. I I don't don't really know, but that should be it. Okay. I don't know if it's 
it's kind of glitch. The interface is kind of glitch. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. I don't know why the, the interface is kind of glitchy. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I don't know. But that, yet yeah, now it's working. <laughs> yeah. And those are the angle values. Now we are correct. We are correct. I want to make like. Hello, Deep with. Hello, 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 hello. That's, that's how many. <laughs> that's the size of the PP. <laughs> the increasing size of the PP. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. That's that's what I'm talking about. So how is it going? Let me let me try like audio rate like I don't know 200 doors. I don't know it should be and it's kinda glitchy because the, the yeah, the, the, uh, there are no, there aren't enough, there isn't enough resolution to calculate, like, audio rate, uh, audio rate, um, uh, da -da 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 audio rate modulation, because I'm basically calculating every step of this of the song I'm calculating it every 42 milliseconds as of now but if I want to use audio rate modulation I need to calculate every step of the song in much more like every microsecond or so but I cannot do that in JavaScript I guess because uh, the what I'm using to loop through every uh, everything in the song it's a function called set interval here and the set interval accepts only values in milliseconds. I wonder if there is a function that allows me. If, well, actually, let me see. Set interval microseconds. Let me see. Speed up set interval. Uh, one minute, I can speed this even more. Please note that when this animation was learning, I can do the animation. Let's go back. Yes. One microsecond is an argument. What? I can answer. Uh, yeah, if you want to call set interval, uh, then the code you want to run has to be considered less than a millisecond, or otherwise it won't make sense in a single thread or event loop. Okay. Uh, instead of having you actually make your code more efficient by avoiding the callback calling over. Uh, yeah, what? No one is going to notice that your code runs in a version. Uh, hmm. 
I don't really know why, what, but I guess we're not using audio rate modulation. We're using only like stuff. Uh, uh, I don't know. We're doing all this slow stuff, I guess. Because otherwise we will destroy everything. <sighs> and also I want to wrap this around a class, like a, a uh, LFO class. Because it's basically for everyone that joined right now, I am making like I I want to make a track only using JavaScript and um, the browser, and that makes like makes it like. A little bit difficult, mainly because it's it's not really the browser isn't really made for this. It's only made for like efficiency and shit like that, I guess. So yeah, if you if you try to 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 do some too too much stuff, I guess. It becomes kind of glitchy, especially if you're working with uh, with uh, this stuff here, like the web audio API. I don't know. I I notice that sometimes it kind of like skips some beats. I guess I I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of how you doing, but. Yeah, we're doing it anyway, and basically step by step, I am making uh, like I'm making a framework for me to make other tracks. Maybe I don't know. And uh, yeah, right now I have a sequencer class that basically you uh, you. Uh, Create a new instance, and you define like the interval between every every node, and then you define the nodes that you want to the the sequencer to play, and um, and uh, this allows allows me to. Nothing actually, and I, I, this, this function here that I'm using uh, in, the, in here, it's a function that basically converts the MIDI note to its frequency, and it's really useful because I can just like put like a value here and and remember like uh, seven semitones up. Eight semitones up, so then that I don't have like to convert every time like a frequency to MIDI manually or vice versa. I can just say frequency and here put like the MIDI note approximate. I don't really know for the what MIDI note is, so yeah, I'm just I'm just looking at relationships between. Here, just like your brain would do. Slider doesn't work anymore, I guess. Ah, I guess. Yeah. This. Um. So what I want to do here is create a class LFO, and if you're here from the start. You will know that I already tried that, but yeah, I don't know what I need. 
Okay, let me copy that and let me pick. Okay, so, so LFO uh, constructor, I will define the, the constructor. And if you don't know the constructor, it's basically a function that runs when you define the object here. Like here, this is the, this is the constructor, and you can pass value to initialize the object with those values. I don't know the LFO what you need. Like I guess frequency. Yes. And uh, like min value and max value. Let me let me import this. Let me comment it. And I can say this dot frequency equals frequency. This dot min value equals min value. And this dot max value equals max value. Um, then I can say right away this dot period is equal to this one um, this dot frequency times one thousand that's millisecond because as I said before this uh, uh, this um, uh, part here returns the period but in seconds and since I'm working with milliseconds here I can just uh, I can just uh, use that I can just multiply the seconds by 1000 and this value here will be in uh, milliseconds uh, then I can say this dot angle ink angle increment is two, 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 two times pi divided by this dot period this dot period then I can I can say I need to say this the param. No, actually I don't. I, can, I need to connect the LFO to the value that I want to modulate. This the param equals param. But that's basically code that I stole from the internet. And then I can say modulate maybe modulate index index um i can say uh -huh, let angle is well actually i can just say that that angle and let value here control c control v and instead of having 1200 here i can say this dot max value, this dot mean value, mean value, and plus 200, this dot mean value. I don't know if this will work. And now the LFO it's only like a sign LFO, so. I guess we'll we'll yeah and, and I guess we'll we'll go into modify stuff as we as we go and then I can say this I can say this dot param dot value at time and I can just say that, just say that. 
and instead of index I can say index oh this value here gets used in the oh also I need to say this dot here here and angle right that should be it that should be it I can say uh, here uh, base let base filter also it was new also frequency uh, 0 0.2 2000 mean value should be like 55 I don't know and max value should be 2k and then I can say base filter to connect this filter also base filter dot frequency I will, I will connect to the base filter LFO, the parameter frequency of the base filter object, which is a bicode filter, which is a like a generic filter that you can change like the order uh, and other stuff like that, like low pass, high pass. By default, should be low pass, I guess. And I can say base filter LFO dot modulate, and I can say index here. And then all this garbage here will go away, and I expect errors upon errors like. Uh -huh. so 65 might be too much for this. And I can change like to 2 hertz, I guess. And maybe 200 as the minimum frequency. Yeah, a two hertz sounds like doesn't sound really good. Becoming like really mad. Okay, 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 okay. What am I doing? Every second. Doesn't Let me try the BPM to up it like 100 and see if it's consistent. It should be consistent because I'm using, uh, yeah, it should be consistent. I guess I will need to like rethink a bunch of things before coming back like next time and 
yeah, wait a minute, I need to, I need to, I think, I guess I guess I can wrap it up for the time being because I, I need to work on it a little bit more like off camera maybe no I didn't <laughs> yeah I guess I, I need to do that bench so yeah <laughs> Anyways, uh, anyways, I I made a microphone stand. <laughs> it's really janky, and I think it will break, but it works for now. I I put my microphone with uh, I don't know if you see it with like zip ties, and I made like the stand. The, the, the clamp that clamps to the, the uh, coming loose actually I'm, I'm scared it will break I don't know it's kind of janky I wanted to make it with metal but I also I only had wood and also oh yeah I will make it with like metal and welded actually maybe make it a little bit nicer I don't know I guess I'll stream that <laughs> I'll stream like the welding the arc the arcs and all the electromagnetic noise thank you Benjamin yeah I, I actually the air it's like short too much short and yeah I made a mistake I put like the wrong spacer to the like the the, the thing the I don't know the trimmer I guess that's called maybe I don't know and yeah so thank you very much for watching it's, this stream was like really boring, I guess. Yeah, there, there's no very, there's no much. Like, I'm not an entertainer. <laughs> I guess if you really want to check someone that programs and makes it really entertaining and it, it knows what they're doing. And yes, go check uh, Daniel Schiffman from the Coding Train channel. He's really entertaining. I start, I learned a lot from him, and it's really nice. It's a really nice fella. So, anyways, um, thank you for watching. I will be ending the stream. I guess, ooh.